Hey, what's up, everyone? Uh, today I'm going to teach you how to do this, which is just a uh, YouTube background uh, for your channel. It's actually uh, really not that difficult. You're just going to need a few things first. You're going to need the YouTube template. You're going to need the uh, you're going to need Cinema 4D, and you're also going to need Adobe Photoshop. And I have CS6, which is the latest version. So, all right, I'm going to go ahead and open up Cinema 4D because this is where we're going to start. All right, and the first thing we're going to do here is go up to render settings and we're going to change the width to 1280 and the height to 720. And this is a pix pixel aspect ratio that uh, gives you the HD image. Then we're going to go down to save and uh, this is really important. You have to save this as a PNG. It has to be in PNG file. And I'll go ahead and save this as YouTube text and then just press save and select alpha channel and we're done there then let's go down to anti-aliasing change this to best and then the max level to 8x8 and we'll do a couple little things after we're uh, actually done creating the text in the render settings but I'm not going to do that right now because it really slows down my render times or my uh, recording here with uh, Camtasia so first off we're going to go down to MoGraph or, uh, actually we're gonna go to this uh, icon here we're gonna uh, create some text and as you can see it's nothing that special it's 2d I'm just gonna put my channels name sick designs and I'm gonna change the height or the horizontal spacing out a little bit because the font I'm gonna use actually kinda crunches the text up a little bit so yeah you just enter in your text down here and then mess around with your horizontal spacing if you need to. Then if you want to change the font, just go right here. And I'm actually going to use, uh, let's see, no, I'm going to use this one, this one's, this one's alright. Okay. And I'm just going to zoom out here so that it fits my screen. Okay, and the next thing we're going to do is click up to this uh, green cube and go to extrude nerves and then we're gonna take our text we're gonna click on it hold it and then go up to extru extrude nerves and make sure the arrow is pointed down and then release let go and that'll make our text uh, 3d as you can see there so uh, next thing we're gonna do is go back up to extrude nerves and right here under movement uh, the very farthest one on the right change this to whatever you want I'm gonna change mine to 80 basically just makes our task text a little bit thicker alright so we have that and uh, what we're going to do now is actually copy this text. So uh, just click and drag over both of it, uh, the extrude nerves in the text, control C and control V. And what this does is copy and paste the exact same thing what we just did. And you'll see why I did that here in a moment. Ex uh, select the one on top, extrude nerves, point one, <clears throat> and click on the text here, or extrude nerves, point one. And then make this half of whatever you made the, uh, the whatever you made it on the last text. So like say, on the last text I made it 80. Then I'm gonna make this one 40. And if I press F5 on the keyboard, I'll get a multiple view. And you'll see what we got here. See that line there? It's actually text inside text. And all I'm doing is sliding it back to where it sits in the middle, as good as I can get it. And if I rotate the camera around, you can see what I'm talking about there. All right. So now we're going to go back to uh, the text here on the bottom, or the extrude nerves here on the bottom, and we're going to go to caps, and we're going to go to fillet cap, and then fillet cap. So both of these are fillet cap. Then we're going to go to the text on top, and uh, click on start, fillet cap, and fillet cap. And then just change the radius on these to 10. So I'm changing the radius here to 10. And if we render this, click a render preview, you can kind of see the effect we're, we're going for. So, once again, all right, so that's what we got. So, we're almost done, actually. Uh, next thing we're going to do is, actually, we're going to add in, uh, we're going to put some materials on this. So, just go down here in this box, double-click. Select whatever you, uh, material material you want this to be. Uh, 
one material is going to be the front and then the second material is going to be the middle so I'm going to make the front black and uh, I'm going to add some reflection to this bring it down to about 40 percent and then add some luminance as well which looks pretty good and make that uh, about 10 percent and then all I'm going to do is click on this and uh, click and drag bring this material up to the front front lettering so you can see here we've got the front lettering is black and then the top here still gray so now we're going to create the uh, material for the next layer so actually I'm going to uh, for this next material I'm going to go to create and then go to shader and then go to new key and uh, basically this is a pretty neat texture material and I'm going to change the illumination to 80 percent and then change the color to um, change it to kind of a bright green and then just really all you have to do is click on this click and drag it up to here up to extrude nerves and then we can preview that and now we've got our colored uh, colored text here alright so we're making pretty good progress hopefully and uh, really all there is left to do now is add in the sky and then a couple other things will be about done so go up here and select sky and create a new texture make this um, make this white and add some luminance uh, I would say bring this down to about 40 percent and that should be about good and then just drag this to the sky okay and that that brightens everything up as you can see there everything gets pretty bright now the next thing we're gonna do is right click on the sky go to cinema 4d tags and go down to compositing you should see this uh, option come up if not just click the tag uh, the tag here and then you'll see scene by camera uncheck that alright and now um, I'm actually going to use a quick little plugin for Cinema 4D. It's called Grayscale Gorilla Light Lighting Kit, and this actually gives you good lighting and some pretty neat um, reflections and stuff for scenes and animations and stuff like that. You can actually, it is an external um, thing, so you have to install it into Cinema 4D. I'm not going to cover that, but uh, basically, uh, it's simple. Just look it up on the internet. Uh, if you do already have it installed, you'll see this, and whenever you want to put something in, just double click on it. I'm going to use a overhead softbox. And so that's in there, and then I'm just going to go to light and add some lighting in here as well to better light the scene. So now if we preview that, We've got some pretty pretty good looking text there. As you can see there. So I'm gonna zoom all the way in here. One more time. We'll check this out. Basically really all I did by adding that sky in there was uh, making it invisible the camera is so that we can r get rid of the background here to this uh, to so we can just have the text but it also still leaves the the effect of the sky being there on the actual object so the effects still there but you just don't you don't see see it in the background so we can actually cut out the background and just have our text it'll make sense here in a little bit um, I'm actually th I'm actually thinking I'm gonna take the luminance off of this material eh. no I kind of like it on there I just wanted to see what it what it would look like let's see what that looks like Better yet, how about I just make this white? 
white and green. That's a pretty sick combination there. All right, so you can see the uh, the look we got going on here. Almost looks like glass. Okay, and uh, whenever we're done, we go back up into render settings and we go to effect and click on ambient occlusion and global illumination. We'll go ahead and preview this again, and since we added those two things in in render settings, this will um, take some render time. All right, so minute 19 seconds, and that's what we have. Uh, it's pretty neat. Obviously, you can uh, change these settings to whatever you want. It doesn't have to be mine. Um, so with that said, if you're done, you can go ahead and go up here to this option and just click on it and it will render out the image and I'm just gonna cut to the end of this so whenever it's done alright so wherever you save that uh, just go ahead and go to it and it's right here and if we click on it um, it looks kinda bright but this actually did this uh, without a background so just her text here is gonna show so that'll make it e really easy to composite into Adobe Photoshop so I'm just going to go ahead and close out of this. I'm not even going to bother saving it. I'm going to open up Adobe Photoshop CS6. And uh, once this comes up, I'm just going to take our template and drag that straight in there from our desktop. And I'm just going to go ahead and zoom in real quick. And then I'm also going to take this uh, my uh, little logo or whatever we created in Cinema 4D and actually I'm gonna go to file open and go down to the text here open it up and it'll bring up a new window no biggie we can just go back over there so what you want to do is is select this option press control A and control C and all this does is copy our text and then let's go back over to our YouTube layout and we'll hit control V and there we go our text has now been uh, pasted uh, over the uh, yeah right here so all we need to do to manipulate the text move it around do whatever we need to is hit control T and now we have control we can actually move the text around and if we hold shift and then uh, go off to the side here we can actually rotate it if we click and drag and we can uh, holding shift basically allows us to snap so I can get it exactly 90 degrees straight up and down and most likely you're gonna have to resize this and uh, then just drag it over here to the side and uh, and just press apply and it'll go ahead and uh, apply your transformation there and uh, so yeah you've pretty much already got your uh, little banner here or uh, whatever you want to call it wouldn't be really a banner but your text and now what we're gonna do is uh, just put in something up here some more text uh, I'm gonna select um, horizontal type tool and we're gonna go actually up here click about right here actually undo that get rid of that layer make sure you kinda click down so that it goes down I'm having a hard time doing that alright uh, that's good enough uh, so we're just gonna go to our text tool I'm gonna leave the font at 14 is fine. 